Hello, hello. Today I want to go over how to set up a drawing so that we can laser cut an animal. So as you can see here, I start off by just Google uh, laser cut animal so for some examples. So you can see there's a bunch of different ways to do something like this. A uh, bunch of them being more difficult than what I actually want to just do with you guys. So if you look at something like this, um, way more layers than what I want, way more cuts that I'm looking at, right? Same kind of idea here. We can do this if you want to uh, tackle this and go for it. I'm not going to stop you. Uh, this is closer to what we're doing, but still way too many layers. I want to do something like this. All right. Maybe even more simple. This is not exactly what I want. You can approach uh, doing something like this if you'd like. Uh, difference being um, you have to develop your own uh, drawing with this, your own legs, your own shape. Right, like uh, here's an example right here. You would have to come up with your own. Oh, wow, there's a bunch of these. Ooh, spoiler. Maybe just take one of those. But uh, I more so am going to show you how to do something more like these, where there's a flat inside and then two uh, legs on the side. So the animal I chose to do was a moose. I just Google image search a moose. I uh, I ended up uh, choosing clip art just so I know it'd be simpler and you want to pick one that is going to be a profile It's from the side. So I think this one here is the one I chose and if you are using the full version of AutoCAD you can just right click uh, copy image and then control V into AutoCAD to paste it. If you're using WebCAD remember you have to go over go through the whole X reference uh, rigmarole. I have that video from before that you can look at post it up top there. Uh, so how you can bring in an image that you've gotten from Google. All right, but I'm mostly going to spend time going over how to get an image um, that you've copied and now just start tracing it in AutoCAD. So right, I just right click copied image and then while in AutoCAD, I just press control V and I pasted it. All right, I ended up making these layers up top here. Zero layer is the layer that I have the pictures in. Cut layer, cut two, cut three, cut four. Cut layer is actually cut one, if you really want to get technical and label that as well. All right, and what you're going to do is you're just going to start tracing the image. Now, I made it those colors so it's easier to see on the actual drawing that you're doing. So you're going to draw this as a polyline. All right, in WebCAD, you're going to draw a spline line, right? A spline line is already going to be curved, and that's going to be easier for you to trace with. In a full version of AutoCAD, if I knew where I was at, there I am. Uh, you have to, I'm going to zoom in, doesn't have to be perfect here, even you can modify some things. You're going to go around and start tracing it, and it's going to look really jagged, right? Sometimes it's going to snap to these polar snaps, and you might want to turn your polar snaps off, but say I don't want that hump. That's fine. You can adjust it. Middle mouse wheel to get, it kind of like hides your image as well as pan. And go around like that, go around, go around. All right, I'm just going to hit enter right now just to show you what, how to actually make this look curved. All right, so I'm actually going to turn off the image just so you can see it's a little better. Now, I want this to be splined. I want it to be curved. I'm going to click on the line. Then away from the line, I'm going to right click. And then polyline comes up. Then you can see spline fit. So if I hit spline fit now, it does the spline that... Um, WebCAD already does. So there's one advantage of WebCAD. We found it, everyone. The one and only advantage, WebCAD, you can draw the spline line directly with your polyline. All right, and you're going to go through the whole thing, tracing the whole thing, but don't trace the legs on this first one. Or you can, either or, I did not trace the legs my first pass through. All right, so if I actually show you, there I am down here, and I already have it drawn. All right, let me turn off my other layers here just so you can see what I did. So I spline fit. I adjusted my line up top here. Did my horns or antlers, I guess they're called on a moose, but I didn't do the legs. And the legs, remember, on our 3D print laser cut, it's going to be on the side. It's a separate thing. So that's what my other layers are. How did I get that, right? So I actually just, whoopsies. I'm going to turn off the image. I don't need it right now. So what I did here is I highlighted, I typed the word join, right? J-O-I-N, join. 
So that's all one object. If you did multiple different polylines, when you click, it's not gonna be the whole thing. And remember, if it's all joined like that, you're gonna have to hit explode. I guess I didn't highlight that guy inside there. I have, it looks how many points are on this line. It's cause I spline fit it one too many times probably. But now it's all one object. I guess I'm not joined, I must have a gap somewhere. It's not important. Don't even worry about these tabs right now. They'll be in part two. But I have the whole thing. I highlight it, control C, control V. I paste it off to the side. While pasting off on the side, I'm gonna highlight it and I'm gonna change it to a different layer. Let's turn that layer on. I change it to a different layer, all right? When it's on that separate layer, now I'm gonna move it back because I want it to be directly in the same spot. You need to make sure you're moving it from the same or snapping it to the same point. Mine has all these crazy snap points to it. I don't even know how that created that, but I know I have this point here. You won't have these points, but do choose a point like the tip of the antler or something like that, right? But I'm gonna type in move, enter. I'm gonna choose this as the base point and move it to the same point on the other drawing, right? You want these to be directly on top of each other. It's gonna help you in the long run, all right? That there, I paste it in the right spot. I'm not going to actually paste this one there because I already have it. I'm gonna delete this guy. And now I have that second layer underneath, there he is. And now I can turn off, I'm gonna turn back on the picture, I'm gonna go into that layer, I'm gonna turn off my initial. And then I went and traced the legs. I went off the legs, I exploded my original drawing, I deleted part of this area inside, and I started tracing the legs, right? I trace the legs, I went all the way down to the base. Make sure you're going down to the bottom of the picture for both of them. Even though this one doesn't go to the bottom, I'm gonna draw it to the bottom, right? Because that's where you're gonna have your little tabs for it to stick in the base. Again, another part I'll go over in the second video. Um, but you're going to have that whole thing traced out and you're gonna do the same thing with uh, cut three, right? I have cut three there now. Can I get that to hide again? Uh, let's just turn, oh, did I just move the picture? No. Right, the other leg was on cut three. Those are both there. One thing that you could potentially do beforehand, but I saved till later. I'm not really sure of the best way to do it, but the way I went about it is later. I eventually offset the whole top half. You want the top half offset down so that you can have that staggered step. Right, so if you look at the example, where am I drawing? It's right here. Click, escape. Uh, let's go to him. You look at these, these are step down lower, right? Step down lower, it's a little bit of an offset. A little bit of an offset. Even this piggy here is a little bit of an offset. Can I see another, find another example? I don't even see the T, oh, here you go, elephant line, right? All these are offset down the sides. So I, you're gonna take that top line and you're gonna offset it down. That's gonna be the easiest way to do that. So in AutoCAD, I highlighted my top half of my moose here, and I just offset it down. You can choose the distance you want. Do not draw these tabs yet. Don't do anything other than the three layers. Even if you just get to this part, it's fine. Let's just get here, and then part two will be next. All right, this getting this far, we then need to scale it to the size of our material. Right, we're gonna do this in eighth inch thick MDF board, it's called. We're gonna make our base and we're gonna do the sides. All right, that'll all be in part two. Main goal for right now is to trace an image and get your three layers, two of which have your legs. It'd be great if you offset down the top. You don't have to. I can show you that, guys that at a later point as well. All right, that's all I got for you. Good luck, have fun.